Greg, welcome to the FA, first day here at St George's Park. Um, can you sum up what it feels to you to be the chairman? Well, sadly my dad isn't alive, but my dad would have thought being chairman of the FA was a lot better than being director general of the BBC. For my dad, football was life. Uh, and that's the sort of household I was brought up in. You know, didn't, you know, passing your exams was important, but nowhere near as important as winning at football. How important do you think this place, St George's Park, looking fantastic with the weather we've got, how important do you think this place will be to the future of English football? Well, this place is brilliant. I mean, this place is remarkable. Um, I think this is obviously part of, of the long-term change to English football. So this is a great place. Absolutely. It's a world-leading place, just like Wembley Stadium. And obviously, you've been, you've been to Wembley many times. Looking forward to seeing a successful England team there? We're all, we, the one thing we all want is a successful England team. And we've not had... You know, we haven't had an outstanding success it's really since since the 90s. Uh, and I think one of the big challenges going forward is how do we get a successful England team? I know you're speaking to Dan Ashworth later. How important is the new strategies, coaching, um, your, all the commitment to sort of developing young players? How important is that for, for the future? Well, young players clearly, young English players are clearly important for the future. The question is, one, can we develop them? And two, can we make sure they play? And that seems to me more difficult. Uh, the, that, the second one seems more difficult. You know, the, there are some clubs that would tell you, well, there aren't, the young kids don't, English kids don't have the same techniques. And say, lots of people tell me that's not true. The question is, why aren't they playing? Absolutely. And, and looking to the future, then, um, what, what do you think your, your goals are for the next uh, few weeks and months? I shall tell you those over the next few weeks and months, in truth. I will, because I don't believe in just coming in and I'm an outsider, you know, I don't, so therefore it will be silly just to come in and say, this is what we want. What I want to do is talk to a lot of people and say, okay, if that's the aim, what do we do? How do we do it? And that's what we'll do over the next few months and then come up on certain issues, come up with a plan.